Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Alex, and welcome to my very first Let's Play video. Uh, today I'm going to be playing System Shock 2. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, yeah. no, that's fine. <coughs> Look at you, hacker. A p -p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess, destined to inherit the Earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. You know... Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had a little... confusion with how to change my controls. It's a pretty standard looking phone for the future. Anyway. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, the I was thinking during that intro. Do you think maybe because because of all the crazy sci-fi apocalypses? Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. All the sci-fi apocalypse movies. Do you wonder if that's the reason we don't have? super cool AI and <clears throat> flying cars and all that other stuff. Do you think we have scared science a little bit? Or not us, you know, individually, but, you know, movie people. Interesting thought. To me anyway, I don't know about you guys. Okay. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. Oh First, God. you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. It's huh. a pretty cool robot design. Ooh, that's... To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get... Welcome training. Oh, While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated <laughs> cyber interface. 
This training interface is identical light. to an actual military grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That yeah. means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This oh. puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. That's pretty neat, actually. Not going on. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left-clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the three... To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. Oh, God. All usable items will have brackets around them. This is just, Highlight this is the just button on the pillar movie. and right click. This will activate the lift. <coughs> so just Try it out. No, if you can I'm still see your inventory on. display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot Come mode. On. Weird. <coughs> the object before you that. is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of see the crate in front of you. To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an one of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful this information. Is from oh, the audio Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Too many noises at once. Too many noises at once. Too many noises at once. PDA are empty. The field, the PDA now PDA pick up the audio logs. Now stop giving one of you. Your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Oh. I guess that's what I get for being a bit over eager with all the grabbing of things. <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. For some reason, it's really bothering me today. Alright, let's see. Can I, can I, I can't use it again. <clears throat> Why can't I use it again? Ah, there we go. This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Well, that was now it's time to learn really about jumping and mantling. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. There we go. Ah. Ah. There we go. Oh wait, is that? No, shift makes me walk. What makes me sprint? I you've done well. Know. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Cool. Is this next? If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical weapons All training. Right, wanna be. Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. Yeah. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. two if the one, pistol was in zero. your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. Okay. Now lock and load the ammo. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items. Weapons, batteries, Supercharge. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Oh, that's Green is cool. good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. 
just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for Excellent. Good work. Now you're <laughs> ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. <clears throat> they might just come in handy. They are probably a little irritated. They're like, we went through all this trouble, and now this kid doesn't Inside, even want we'll teach to you the base listen to us. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the object in front of you is a container of nanites. nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tests. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. Click. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Hack. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin Jesus. hacking. <coughs> you'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or neat. dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Oh, nuts. Okay. Click. What's... Oh, that's not it, right? Oh, <laughs> that was a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be. Push button. I know it's going to take it away from me anyway, but I still want to... You can use nanites to buy items anything. from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it. Please then left-click on the item you wish to purchase. Start. The item you purchased will drop into the slot below. Hi there. Make sure you make up your before you shine. Thank you for choosing. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing Where value wrap. Oh, here. That's actually kind of neat. I really like that. To be honest. <clears throat> you learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical. Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Do not. We've provided you with a... The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Side points symbolize the current ability to use your side powers. Psi hypos replenish your side points. Try using a psi hypo and watch your side points increase. Side when you... This psi amp amplifies your psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing oh, the side what? amp activates your currently selected psi discipline. Ooh. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available psi disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select psi disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot, and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding Bam. down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you oh, run out of psi points, use another psi hypo. Fireball. Or ice ball, I guess. Okay. I understand everything. Pew. Pew. Oh, they're faster. Alright. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Which one specializes what? Marines, I'm guessing, is fire. Maybe it's set up as it was before. I don't really care that much about guns, even though it was kind of neat. Uh, Psychic or Navy. Let's go with Navy. Maybe that's the thing with all the technical stuff. Well, 
uh, this seems like a good place to stop, so thank you everyone for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. If you like this video, please like, comment if you have any suggestions for me, and um, I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Alright, thank you everyone. See ya.